we will pick back up with Shadowheart leading the way this time, because Glory really wants nothing to do with this whole Gauntlet of Shar business. Upon the altar is an inscription. Brave the gauntlet of your Lady Shah, surmount her trials, and rise a dark justicia. Your convictions are proven true. This is the gauntlet of Lady Shah. Perhaps here you can show yourself to be worthy. A dark justicia at last. Let's see what Shah history she can remember. The Dark Lady's cadre of elite warriors. The most faithful, the most envied, the most ruthless. Lady Shah's values are clear. Her children must excel in stealth, combat, and navigating her sacred darkness. Lastly, she asks for a sacrifice. To become a Dark Justicia, one must spill the blood of a Salunite. I'm sure Shadowheart wouldn't tell Glory that last part, but Glow knows enough. She won't stand in Shadowheart's way, but she's certainly not going to take part in the gauntlet. So we'll leave Shadowheart to do that while we tie up some loose ends. The air stirs in trepidation. You have the ledger. Tell me why you won it first. To punish a murderer. If that is not enough, leave. I have no time for those lacking commitment. We have it. Her lies, her guilt. Madeline reported her friends to a dark justicia and fled when they were butchered. Well, she flees no more. I will be the conduit for Madeline's spirit. I will force her to face trial. And you will be the judge. Make her beg. Make her suffer. I'm here to make sure she sees justice. There is no justice for traitors, only pain. Witness. That I was going to be punished. That you'd be the judge. But I didn't mean to hurt anyone. Okay. Um. Why don't you tell me what happened? I said it didn't mean nothing. That Ben and Mark were just drunk and whining. The Dark Justicia promised she was going to chat with him. She promised. If it was drunk complaining, why did you report them? The Dark Justice, you're said to report everything, big or small. She ain't the type you say no to. She gave him a dagger each and told him to press it against their stomachs on the count of three to start stabbing and not stop till she said so. She never said stop. I'd do anything to take it back. Anything. There's nothing you need to. This wasn't your fault. I promise. What I did was wrong. And I won't ever forgive myself. But hearing that just one person doesn't hate me. That one person forgives me makes the load so much lighter thank you ah! 
You were supposed to make her suffer, not forgive her! What happened wasn't her fault. She deserved forgiveness. That doesn't matter! I seek the guilty, the tormented, the anguished. You have crossed me. And for that, I end your pathetic life! Yeah, I kind of figured it would go down like this. You have been judged and found wanting. Good thing Gale doesn't need a weapon, but I have to remember to pick it up. I always forget. Shatterkai have the coolest names. All right, one task down and on to the next. The shadows haven't consumed you. Good. So, I've been looking into Catherick, and I suspect Isabel might be his daughter. Do you? Well, let us not leave you in suspense, then. You are right. She is. It's more than that. She was dead, and something brought her back. Something malign? Huh. Or some blessing of Siluna, perhaps. I do not know what restored Isabel's life to her, but I can see what she is doing with it. If she wished to see us drowned in darkness, Isabel needn't have lifted a finger. Instead, she holds out her hand. I choose to take it. I choose to trust. And not just because I have no other choice. All right, then. Trust it is. Hmm. Then you're a stronger soul than I. I, at least... Have had time to prepare that uh, <laughs> high-minded little speech. Still, if your faith ever wavers, when I find myself needing a reminder of just who Isabel Thorne is, I simply step outside and look up. It's funny, Nyx respected Jahira as a person, but couldn't care less about her title. But at least right now, I think Glow respects Jahira solely because of her rank. And maybe they'll get closer eventually, but we'll see. Hmm. Hmm. Than you and me, uh... Climb, climb, climbing up a tree. He keeps saying Thaniel's name. He must know more. We need to rouse him. Daniel! He's still trapped there. He needs help. Calm. Breathe. <laughs> You've been trapped in the Shadowfell for a century. Take a moment to clear your mind. A century? Your whole sin. Thaniel said to find you. You must help him. Please. 
I will. But I need to know where Thaniel is. If I venture into the Shadowfell blind, I will never find him. I'm not sure I can put it into words. The landscape there shifts and changes. Was there anything that could offer guidance? Something that didn't change? Lavender. Whenever I saw Thaniel, I always smelled lavender. I can work with that. Rest now. Meet me by the lake shore. I have what we need to proceed, but I'll need your help. Be ready. This may prove perilous. We'll rest up to get some spell slots back, and then we'll head over. You're here. Good. Now we can begin. First, I want to know what to expect. Thaniel is trapped in the Shadowfell. But thanks to your efforts, I know where to look. Now I must go there, alone. What am I to do? With the Oak Father's blessing, I can infiltrate the Shadowfell, but doing so will sap my strength. I'll need your help if I'm to return. I need you to stay here, keep the portal open until I return, and defend it at all costs. Upon my oath, Druid, I swear you shall be safe. Good. Now it's important that only I pass through the portal once it opens. The magic is fragile. Any mistake, and our one chance will be lost forever. It took me years of study, of seeking the Oak Father's favor, to find a way to part the veil. Pray that this works. Oak Father, hear me, aid me. Force open the jaws of darkness. Make passage for your vessel of light. It's ready. I'll return with Thaniel as soon as possible. Stay close to the portal. Buy me what time you can. All right, here we go. been leaving more of the combat in the episodes lately, so you might notice that I do pretty much the same thing every time. Uh, if it works, why change it? But I also do try to like roleplay the character even in combat. Glory uses Divine Smite and Radiance of the Dawn. Will uses Eldritch Blast, Wall of Fire. Uh, Gale uses Magic Missile and Lightning Bolt. Rinse and repeat. But I don't care who you are. This fight, throw up wall of fire over there. You have to. Just trust me. See what I mean? With haste. Way. I'm probably the only person who's even Forever really doors. aware of this, but uh, Glory should only be able to use Radiance of the Dawn once before resting. And it should consume a Channel Divinity charge as well, but she's bending the rules a bit because she has a ring that lets her cast it with no cooldown. I still like to try to follow the rules by only letting myself use it once. But yeah, just full disclosure.
equivalent to the curse. Who's over here? Hmm. Another step forward. There you are. lies before me on the victor's path why am i even considering other routes i know i'm gonna use lightning bolt it's great crowd control. Wonder if the gods are watching me. And only one enemy left. This is my time. And with one round to go. Love that. I don't fancy their chances. It's done. I have him. But something's wrong. Dreadfully wrong. No. It can't be. We need to get Daniel someplace safe. Yes. I'll bring him back to camp. He'll be safest with us. I need to examine him. I need to understand what's wrong. It's almost like something's missing from him. Come see us when you can. Well, we have a lot of bodies to loot, and then back to camp. Daniel is resting, but it's no easy slumber. I discovered what's wrong with him. The shadows rendered him in two when they bore him away to the Shadowfell. Half of his essence remained here, amidst the curse. What stayed behind would have been the strongest part of him. 
But after all these years left in the darkness, corruption must have taken hold. Tell me how I can help. It's both simple and not. We need to find Thaniel's missing half and make him whole again. Only the missing half may not come willingly. The curse will have sunk its tendrils deep, twisting Thaniel's essence into something else. Oh, I, I met a sort of shadow child before. A little boy named Oliver, around Thaniel's age. And you saw this boy yourself? That can't be a coincidence, but we need to be sure. And I truly mean we, if you wish. Every moment counts, and I've asked much of you already without being at your side. If you want me, I'm yours. Against the curse, against the absolute... anything. Just say the word. Yes. Please join me. Good. Now our roots can deepen. Together. Okay, we'll level him up and then hit the road once again. I won fair and square. There's no point in playing again. I want a challenge. Though shrouded in shadows, the child's resemblance to Thaniel is unmistakable. This must be his dark half, warped by the curse. I'm not going back. I like it here. I've made a family for myself. I get to play all the time. Please don't make this harder than it needs to be. Not harder. Impossible. I don't want to play with you anymore. He's gone. And we need to follow. He'll... Uh, okay, add it to the list of times that Will gets interrupted. Why do they keep doing my man like that? I will skip the combat this time. It's just more shadows. You know how it goes. Why couldn't you just leave me alone? Why can't I just stay here, playing? I had everything I've ever wanted, right here! And you've ruined it! I'm not leaving. You can't make me! Be gentle. He's much more than a child. But he doesn't truly know that. You have what you want, but not what you need. Thaniel. He's your friend, your kin. He's you. He's nothing to me. He left me here all this time. I had to do everything for myself. Even when it was scary, even when I was alone. I didn't give up. You were very brave and resourceful. Think of how much you'll be able to help Thaniel. But would he even want me back? I've changed. A lot. Change is good. That's what growing up is all about. Together, you two will become more than you were before. So I wouldn't have to make up friends to play with anymore. I'd have someone real. I'd like that. And he would too, I think. All right, I'll do it. I want to do it. Well done. Are you crying? You're a bit big to be crying. But I suppose that's okay. Bye. And thank you for playing with me. It's done, at last. Soon the land will be unshrouded. We should return to Thaniel when we can. Oh. Come on, big guy. Ah, Hulsin is such a delight. Woe to the cultist who tangles with that thick hunk of an elf. <laughs> All right, back to camp one more time. Oakfather preserve you. 
You've spent all these years fighting the Shadow Curse. What happens once it's lifted? Honestly, I never thought I'd make it that far. But the Absolute is a threat to all, and I promised I'd help you with your parasite. So, I'll remain with you. If you'll have me, that is. Of course. I only wish you'd join me earlier. So do I. But one duty at a time. Even after all this, I feel like I haven't gotten to know you properly yet. Hmm. Um... I suppose you wouldn't be shocked to learn I love animals and nature? <laughs> I, I know, I know. Well-trodden territory. Uh, well then, let's see. Um, I whittle in my spare time? And I've something of a sweet tooth. Although everyone's very amused when I say I like honey. Whittling? Well, that's downright country. What do you make? Ornaments, utensils, and ducks. I like ducks. <laughs> well, thank you for sharing. <laughs> thank me by returning the favor, why don't you? <laughs> Come on. I'm sure you've something better than carving wooden ducks. Oh. Um. Well. You know, I've always wanted a child of my own. Perhaps one day. When peace visits the coast. I think I know how you feel. Duty, eh? I hope your wish comes true. We'll need new life once all this is over. Catherick's soul still nourishes the shadows. Destroy him. So the land may heal. So that I may heal. Intense. Actually, that reminds me, there is another kid we need to check on. I don't believe it! They can't be! Breathe, child. Resist not the winds of change. Let them carry thee. No! No! Listen! Dost thou not hear it? Where creation meets ruin, where morning meets midnight, the root of all being, balance. They're dead! I can't! Balance. Your very soul is tangled in shadow. Arabella's magic, wild as cursed briar. Her talent is now yours, too. The girl must learn the ways of the arcane. But she shan't remain here. Why not? I'm not sending her out there alone. Arabella holds a power beyond reckoning. That of the decaying forest, and the seedling that bore it. But it is unbalanced. Her yoke is already heavy. If she walks thy path, it will surely break. Arabella will depart once thou dost leave these accursed lands. She will find her way safely. Thus, it is fated. Bowman. You're making me leave. Fear not, girl. The Weave knows thy purpose. It will guide thee, if thou dost listen. For balance, then. You can trust Withers. If he says you'll be safe, you should believe him. I... <laughs> You feel the grief fade as if it were your own. There is a lightness in her now, veiling the power within, soothing it. Is that my future? Is that why they died? It is. It's wonderful. Thank you, Bowman, for being nice. 
If there are people like you around, perhaps everything will be all right. Well, that was a pretty productive day. Let's hope Shadowheart had one as well.